Welcome along to this deep dive right here on the Weon Podcast. Hi there. We've got something really fascinating today, uh, a potential breakthrough in medical science. Yeah, it's about dementia and how we might, well, how we might detect it much, much earlier. Exactly. We're talking about the possibility, maybe the verge, of a blood test. A simple blood test that could predict dementia years, maybe even decade or more, before symptoms currently appear. It's... Uh, Quite something. It really is. And this comes from some pretty serious research, doesn't oh, it? Oh, definitely. Scientists, uh, they analyze blood samples from 50,000 healthy people in the UK. 50,000? That's just a huge number. Think about the data involved there. It's massive. And what they were looking for and found were specific patterns. Right, patterns in proteins. Exactly. Patterns in, I believe, four specific proteins in the blood. These patterns seem to act like... Uh, like an early warning signal. A signal that suggests dementia might develop later on in life even when someone feels perfectly fine now. Precisely. Long before any cognitive issues become obvious. And the accuracy they achieved? I mean, this is the really striking part. It is. The study suggests these protein profiles could predict dementia developing later with, get this, around 90% accuracy. 90%. Wow. That's, that's incredibly high for this kind of predictive test. Nine times out of 10. It really is remarkable. And it immediately makes you think about the next step, you know. A screening kit, something that could be used widely. That's the hope. Imagine a routine blood test, maybe part of your regular checkup, that includes this kind of screening. So for you listening now, this could potentially mean finding out about risk much, much earlier. Which gives people a crucial heads up. It could mean getting prioritized for, you know, further checks, more detailed assessments if the risk looks high. And it ties into treatments too, right? There are new drugs being developed. Absolutely. This kind of early detection becomes even more significant when you consider potential new Alzheimer's therapies like um, lecanemab and donumab. Which are currently going through the review process. Yes, exactly. They're under careful review by the UK medicines regulator, European bodies too. They're looking at safety effectiveness and cost effectiveness as well i imagine nice is looking into that that's right the national institute for health and care excellence it's all part of the process but it's not completely straightforward even with a blood test there are still hurdles true for instance to be eligible for some of these potential new treatments mm -hmm. you often need confirmation of uh, amyloid proteins in the brain and that usually means procedures like a lumbar puncture, you know, a spinal tap or a PET scan. Right. And those kinds of tests aren't, well, they're not routinely done everywhere at the moment. The uptake is currently quite low. So even if we get this fantastic blood test, there are still pieces of the puzzle in the healthcare system that need to fit together. Definitely. It raises some big questions. This kind of predictive power is amazing. But what does it actually mean? Yeah, what are the real world implications for individuals, for families, for the whole healthcare setup if we can identify dementia risks so far in advance? It's a profound question to think about, a real shift in perspective. It really is. Well, that's certainly given us a lot to consider. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into such potentially transformative research. A pleasure. It's definitely one to watch. Indeed. Stay tuned for more intriguing stories like this coming your way right here on the Weon Podcast.